so hello friends welcome to my channel i'm in coaching center so today i'm going to explain you that is the ninth standard that is the ninth standard science that is fourth chapter structure of atom So, the charges of particle in a matter. So, for understanding the nature of the charge particle in the matter, let us carry out some of the activities. So, many scientists have tried for finding out the charges of the particle. So, the structure of an atom. So, Dalton's automatic theory in chapter 3 that you have learned, which suggests that the atom was individual and indisputable. But the discovery of two individual particles inside the atom led to the failure of the concepts of Dalton theory. And then for explain this many uh, scientists proposed various atomic models. J.J. Thomas was the first one to propose a model for the structure of atom. Thus the structure of atom. The structure of a atom. Its first model first model was it was uh, proposed a by J. J. Thomson so the first model model of structure of atom was proposed by J. J. Thomson so let us know Thomson's next is Thomson model of an atom so uh, he after his uh, jj thompson proposed proposed it so this was here in orbit so it is a positive sphere positive sphere here in this in this positive sphere there are so in this there were many small small things So these were the electrons in this was the thing what the Thomson proposed. So what he proposed is the first thing is an atom he said that an atom consists of positively charged positive sphere and the electrons. So it has an atom has positive sphere and the electrons in it and also he said next is the negative and positive charge or equal in the magnitude he said the negative and positive charge or equal in magnitude equal in magnitude jj thomas said like this so this was thomson's model of an atom next to the Rutherford came Rutherford's model of an atom so after J.J. Thomas and after Dalton's atomic theory got drunk next Rutherford came then in this experiment fast moving alpha that is a particle were made to fall on the thin gold foil so here Rutherford is selected a thin gold foil because he wanted a as a thin layer of uh, as possible this gold foil was about thousands atom thick it was like thousand atom thick a particles are double charged helium ions since they has an 4u so the fa fast moving a particle have a considerably amount of energy so let us know the observation the observation made in the further force model is so after he took the thin foil the observation of observation of was so observation was observation of further foot model was most of the so according to the scattering expect 
so the result is most of the fast moving a particle a particle that is fast moving particles fast in a straight and this fast in a straight through a cold flight so through a cold foil it is fast uh, it is past cold foil and Separately, one out of thousand two hundred particles appeared. So there were thousand two hundred particles reborn. Sorry, twelve thousand particles were reborn. Particles were reborn. So it twelve thousand particles were reborn. So let us know about the uh, a particle scattering experiment of him. So here he says most of the space inside the atom. So the space between the two atoms, the empty because most of the A particles passed through the cold foil without getting deflected. They are not getting deflected. They are simply passing away the line. So on the basis of his experiment, Rutherford put forward the nuclear model of an atom. So what he did means let us see now how he made the nuclear atom. The first one is there is a positive charged center that is called as center called nucleus he says other forces and also he says that and also he says that and the mass of an atom resides the nucleus and the mass of an atom is mass of the atom is based on the nucleus atom is based on nucleus based on nucleus Rutherford he explains next so next he says the Rutherford says so electrons revolve around nucleus in circular path he says electron revolve around nucleus In circular path, the electron revolves around the nucleus. So the size of the nucleus is very small. The size of nucleus is small than an atom. Then an atom, the size of the nucleus is very small. And also, let us see the drawbacks of Rutherford model of an atom. So the revolution of the electrons in a circular orbit is not expected to be stable so he uh, he explained all the things but uh, the some scientists had doubt that uh, according to the full model he says the electrons are there but they may be not be stable sometimes they may think like that after the full goes next Bohr's model of an atom so Bohr and scientist called Bohr he comes and then he says the explanation about this so the what all the postulate he says is on e first he, he says that only certain special orbital that is known as he says that only certain special orbital that is known as discrete orbit is uh, allowed inside is allowed inside an atom inside and inside the atom it is this discrete is allowed inside and while dividing and revolving around the nucleus this discrete orbit of electron do not radiate energy he says then he, he makes after that Rutherford makes one thing so what he makes means see this is he makes one dot around this one circle around this one circle around this another one circle and another one circle around this so sorry for this you have to draw a circle here it is little bit mistakes so this what he says means n shell he, he names it as n shell and he says the orbitals or shell are the called as energy level the orbitals that are present like this is one orbital so for so this he named as n shell this he named as M shell 
and this he named as Elchel and this he named as Keshel and this the central one it is the nuclear so this all you have to draw a circle the, the, here it is not happened the circle so so neutrons so neutrons another uh, so J Chadwick discovered another subatomic particle which has no charge that has no charge with neither positive or negative and they are called as the neutrons so the sum of the mass of proton and neutron present in the nucleus is becomes the neutron it does not have any mass uh, positive or negative charges it does not have any charges so as this has so same number of electrons that can be in the outermost cell this n shell will be only eight and uh, electrons are not accommodated in a given shell in the given cell they will not be there there will be some changes in the uh, in the shells okay so this will be a, only eight electrons in the outermost cell remember this this was some rules of the uh, uh, Bohr's model uh, model of quantum next valency next after this valency so the electrons present in the outermost cell in an atom is the valence electron the atom present this in outermost cell present in the outermost cell in the outermost cell most shell the electrons present the electrons present are called as valence electron valence electron so let us take helium so it has two electrons in the outermost so therefore it will be having uh, two valence electrons we can say and lithium has one valence electron in the outermost cell so it will be having one valence electron like that only we can say the electrons you have to see how much uh, uh, where uh, and uh, how much uh, electrons are present in the outermost cell you have to say and you have to say the uh, right the electron next atomic number so what is an atomic number so So it is the number of protons of an atom. So the number of protons of an atom. The number of protons. So the number of protons present in that uh, atom. Protons of an atom is atomic number. So the how much number of protons present in that atom is the will become its atomic number. And next is mass number. So the mass number will be the uh so the mass number will be the so so therefore So these are the present in the nucleus of an atom and hence proton and neutrons are also called as nucleus and therefore the mass of an atom results in its nucleus so the mass of an atom depends on its nucleus so the mass of an atom depends upon its nucleus the about upon its nucleus and isotopes so isotopes so in nature a number of atoms of some elements have uh, been identified which have the same atomic number but different mass number so therefore we can say that there are three types of isotopes they are namely as the so on the basis of this example let us take isotopes are defined as the atoms of the same element having same atomic number so isotopes that have same atomic number so they have same atomic number this atomic number you know you don't know the number of protons of an atom is the atomic number so it's the same atomic number but different 
mass number it has a different mass number so mass number will be different so then we call it as isotopes and applications of the isotopes are an isotopes of uranium is used as fuel uranium the isotope is used and the isotopes of cobalt is used in the treatment of cancer for treatment of the cancer the isotopes of cobalt is used and the isotope of an iodine is used for treatment of coitre that is a thyroid gland uh, you will learn about that uh, the problems of thyroid gland next finally the topic is isobars so atoms of different elements that have different atomic number so here in isotope isobars so only two different only one thing different that have different atomic number so here it has different mass number but here it has different atomic number atomic number but same mass number so only one change so in isotopes it will have same atomic number but different mass number in isobars it will be have different atomic number but same mass number only two here interchange it will be so okay friends this was your subject the structure of an atom here first is a, a so first here the structure of an atom was first proposed to, uh, by a scientist jj thompson then thompson uh, told about the positive sphere and it has an electron then after the two other food came and he gave an explanation to think and then after the Dalton atomic Dalton came and he said like this that it will be having N shell and N shell will be having maximum number of eight electrons uh, outermost cell and uh, the electrons next valency will land atomic number uh, uh, mass number isotopes and isobars will land so okay friends this was your chapter so I think you understand this chapter so okay friends like the video comment on video and subscribe my channel and coaching center for more video I will see you in the next video explaining another chapter of your ninth standard so till then take care have a nice day bye my dear friends